Mr. Speaker, as it turns out, deporting 11 million undocumented immigrants and banning Muslims from entering the country might not be the most radical anti-immigration ideas that the Republicans have come up with. There seems to be a sinister anti-immigration arms race breaking out in the party of Trump. Last week, a federal judge, Judge Andrew Hannon of Texas, pictured here, the same one whose judgment on immigration executive actions is being deliberated by the Supreme Court, ordered the punishment of every single lawyer in the Justice Department in 26 states. His claim is that some DOJ lawyers misrepresented to him whether they were complying with his injunction suspending the immigration executive actions announced by President Obama in November of 2014. After his injunction, they were only supposed to issue two-year work permits under the old rules to immigrants who applied for and received, after an extensive criminal background check, the ability to be treated as the lowest priority for deportation. But the remedial ethics classes are for every single Department of Justice lawyer in 26 states. Oh, you say uh, you weren't in any way associated with the case before the judge? Too bad. Never practiced law that is remotely related to immigrants or immigration? Sorry, the judge is ordering your punishment. Never been to the state of Texas in your life? Tough cookies. The Texas judge knows best and is ordering you around as if you had argued cases yourself before his court. Overreach much? Uh, the newspaper, La Opinion, called Judge Hannon's plan onerous and absurd. I think that's an understatement. Judge Hannon is also using some good old-fashioned scare tactics to see if he can compete with Sheriff Joe Arpaio and the GOP presidential nominee for the title of Who is Most Shamelessly Anti-Immigrant. Judge Hannon has called for the Department of Justice to turn over the names of 100,000 people who were possibly granted the three-year, not the two-year, work permit. So if you come forward pay hundreds of dollars, submit your paperwork and fingerprints. Then two years later, a judge says, though you have made no mistake and have zero, I want to repeat, zero responsibility for the controversy, you, the applicant, before the American government, could have your name and address published for every two-bit vigilante and Twitter troll to read. I thought Republicans were the ones who didn't like activist judges. I thought they wanted as little government as possible and to leave the legislating, and I suppose the intimidating, to the politicians here in Washington, D.C. So when the Republicans line up the ante in one area, they have to up the ante in another. Nowhere is this crass political opportunism more apparent than right here. This morning, we have a little hearing in the Judiciary Committee aimed at, get this, shutting down legal immigration as much as possible. Your son's fiancé, your mom's doctor, your neighbor's nanny, your grocery store's janitorial crew, if they're coming legally to the United States, Republicans want to stop it, slow it down, and make it cost a lot more. The party obsessed with illegal immigration now has legal immigration firmly in its sight. And if you are from certain countries and are of a certain religion, you must have a special security review. You know, I thought the campaign promise to bar Muslims from traveling here to the USA was a campaign promise that would never be realized unless your leader actually won the campaign. Don't get me wrong. If I thought Republicans were proposing a process to make things more secure and give the U.S. a better immigration system, I would support it, and I think we could pass something that was on a bipartisan basis in Congress today. But come on, guys. Do you really believe the House of Representatives are trying to craft a sensible bill related to immigration in an election year? Do you think the American people are that gullible? No. The party of Trump has launched an all-out radical assault on legal immigration and hopes everyone is so scared of the rapey Mexicans, the sex-crazed Italians, and the Vietnamese immigrants with Ebola on the one hand and Ziki flies on the other. Lock down the whole system, they say. Lady Liberty, lower your lap. Cover up your poem and take a seat, because terrorists got in once, which is enough reason to keep everyone out of America, from the computer programmer to the ski instructor to the refugee fleeing systematic violence. If you ask me, Maybe it's not the hundreds of Justice Department lawyers who have nothing to do with Judge Hannon's courtroom who need onerous remedial ethics training classes. Maybe it's Judge Hannon's allies here in the House and throughout the Republican Party who could use a mandatory lesson on right and wrong.